Hey, welcome to iFlip for Math MathCast, lesson 12-1, Con customary units of length. We'll be converting tonight. I'm Mrs. Gooding, and our quote tonight is by Wilbur Wright of the Wright Brothers. He said, it is possible to fly without motors, but not without knowledge and skill. So that's part of what we're doing tonight with math, is giving you the knowledge and skill so that you can go out and do whatever it is that you want to do. We don't want you to ever be held back because you didn't get the skill and knowledge that you needed. Our learning goal tonight is to convert customary units of length. Here are our individual lesson learning goals. Number one, you're going to be using math strategies to convert inches, feet, yards, and miles. And you're going to need to know these four things. It's one of the reasons that we love metric is that we only have to remember one set of numbers, but with customary measurement, there are quite a few different ones we have to remember. So we need to remember that there are 12 inches in one foot, there are three feet in one yard, there are 36 inches in one yard, and there are 5,280 feet in one mile. And you probably learned all of that in an earlier grade, but just kind of review it, make sure that you remember that you'll be needing those numbers. Write them down if you don't have them memorized. So our one vocabulary term tonight, because I think you know inches, feet, yards, and miles, is customary measurement. And it is the measurement system that we use in the United States. Metric is used in Europe and South America and just all around the world. But in the United States, we tend to kind of stay with customary measurement. And so when you go places and you're measuring length, you're talking about inches, feet, yards, and miles. And we're kind of starting to convert over where you're hearing about meters more and kilometers and things. But for now, really, we still use inches, feet, yards, and miles. So you need to be familiar with both. Here is our example. You can see there an example of how an inch is broken up into half an inch, a fourth of an inch, an eighth of an inch, or a sixteenth of an inch. And we're going to be practicing using rulers in class tomorrow measuring. Those are better hands-on activities, so we'll do that at home. And there's just an example of a foot. When you see that smaller little brown uh, ruler, that's a foot long. So an inch isn't really this long. An inch is about from the top joint of your finger is about an inch, and a foot it's about from here to here in, on, a, on an adult, or the length of a foot on an adult. And a yard would be about, if you stretch your finger out, I know you can't see my finger, it's the tip of your finger all the way to your nose is about one yard. So one thing I want you to memorize is the saying, big to little multiply, small to large divide. Say it with me. Big to little multiply, small to large divide big to little multiply, small to large divide. Now I know that big and large are the same thing and little and small are the same thing, but when we started out saying big to little and little to big, kids couldn't remember which to do first. So we just say big to little, when you start out with big and you go to little, you multiply, when you start out with small and you go to large, you divide. So for our example problem, we're going to do how many yards are in 25 feet. We're gonna do that on the bamboo tablet. So I've written the hint there, big to little multiply, small to large divide, and I've also written the question. It says, how many yards are in 25 feet? So we're converting from feet to yards, and we know how many feet we have. So we always write what we know first, 25 feet. And if you notice, I didn't put a period after that. The only um, the only a unit of measurement that you put a period after the abbreviation is inches so that you don't get it mixed up with the word N-I-N. So I draw a line and I want to know how many yards. And also, even though you use plural, you still don't write an S on the end of it. We just say yards when we see Y-D, yards. 25 feet equals how many yards? So what we're looking at now is not this number here. Um, we can just write this right here, 25. We're looking at these units of measurement, feet and yards. And we know that a foot is, think about the length of your foot, and a yard is bigger than a foot because it goes from the end of your finger to the tip of your nose. And if you think about it, your yard at home is bigger than a foot too. Um, so we're going from small to large. A small unit, a foot is small, and a yard is larger. So small to large, so small to large divide. So I put a division symbol here. And then all I have to do is remember how many feet are in one yard. And there are three, which means I'm going to be dividing 25 by three. So I'm gonna come over here 
and 25 divided by 3. 3 doesn't go into 2. 3 goes into 25 8 times because 3 times 8 is 24. And I have a remainder of 1. And I want to show you what to do with that remainder. Your 8 is how many yards you have. You have 8 whole yards. And then you also have 1 I'm going to make that look like a one so we don't get it confused. You have one foot left over. So you have eight yards, one foot. And that's how many yards are in 25 feet. Eight yards with one foot left over. Let's try some more. So we're going to try another type of problem. And this time, make sure you write it down before you even say the poem in your head or the little chant. We know that we have three yards. We don't know how many inches we have. So we write down what we know. Three yards equals how many inches? So we know we can go ahead and write this three down here, and then we're going to say our poem in our head. Big to little multiply small to large divide. We know that a yard, which is long, is bigger than an inch, which is little. So um, since we're going from big to little, we're going to multiply. And then we have to think how many inches are in a yard. We always ask ourselves how many of the smaller unit are in the larger unit. And there are 36. So we have 3 times 36 is going to give us our answer. So we would come over here and show our work. It's always a good idea to show your work because if you make your mistake in the work, you can still show that you know how to do a problem. 3 times 6 is 18. And 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. 108 inches. So three yards equals 108 inches. There's Orville and Wilbur working in their shop to build some of their planes that they built. Number one, 33 feet equals how many yards? Remember, you can go back and look at the example to complete your work. Pause it and push play when you're ready. Did you write 11 yards? Let's see how we did that. So I wrote down our problem. I wrote down what I know first. You always write down that, what you know first. I know that I have 33 feet. I want to know how many yards I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my 33 down, 33. And then I'm looking at my units of measurement. I'm going from feet to yards. And I know that feet are smaller than yards. Yards are bigger because think your foot on your body compared to your yard at home. That's not a comparison of the size, but yards are always bigger than feet. So I'm going from small to large and small to large divide. So I'm gonna put a division symbol here. And then remember, all I have to do is think how many feet are in a yard? Three, and I know what to divide by. It helps me set my problem up perfectly so that I don't make silly mistakes. So if I come down here and I divide 33 by three, 3 goes into 3 one time. 3 times 1 is 3. Bring down my 3. 3 goes into 3 another one time. 3 times 1 is 3. And I have 0 left over. So I have 11 yards, nothing left over. Number 2. 6 yards equals how many inches? Pause it and push play when you figured it out. Don't forget to write the entire problem down as I taught you to write it. Skipping steps will cause mistakes. Go ahead and pause and push play when you're ready. Did you write 216 inches? Let's see how we did that one. So I wrote down what I know, six yards, and what I want to know, how many inches. Make sure you don't skip writing that first part of the problem down. I can bring my six right down and then I started with yards and I'm changing it to inches. So I'm going from big to little, multiply. Big to little, multiply. And I know that there are 36 inches in a yard, so I'm multiplying six times 36 to get my answer. Six times 36. Six times six is 36. Six times three is 18, 19, 20, 21. 216 inches. It's pretty fun, huh? Number three, four feet equals how many inches? Pause it and push play when you're ready.
Did you write 48 inches? Let's see how we did that one. So this time we know we have four feet and we want to know how many inches that is. So we will bring our four right down and then we look at our units of measurement. I have feet here and inches here. So I'm going from feet to inches and feet are bigger than inches. So I'm going from big to little. And so I'm going to multiply. Big to little, multiply, small to large, divide. Now I have to just figure out how many inches are in a foot and there are 12 inches in one foot. So my answer will be the answer to four times 12. And I'll work it out here, but I actually have it memorized, 48 inches. It's always okay to work it out to make sure sometimes our memories, we might make a quick mistake. Four feet equals 48 inches. It's time to practice our word problems. If Mrs. Gooding's dining table measures 77 inches long, will a six foot table topper cover the table? If not, how much difference is there between the table and the cover? Go ahead and Think about what that's asking you. What are you trying to figure out? Are you converting? Are you, what are you doing? Pause it and push play when you've done the work. I hope you remember to write your complete sentence. The answer was no. Did you write something like, it doesn't have to be exactly this, the six foot table topper is only 72 inches long. It is five inches too short to cover the table. That would be the sentence, but let's go ahead and see how we figured that out. In this case, they've given us two important parts of information. They've told us that our table measures 77 inches and they've told us the table topper measures six feet. So there are two ways that you could actually work this problem, but we're gonna start using 77 inches and see how many feet that actually is. So I'm gonna bring my 77 down, and I'm going from small to large because inches are small and feet are bigger. So small to large, so I'm going to divide. And then I know that there are 12 inches in one foot, so I'm going to divide by the magic number of 12. So I would come over here, 12 goes into 77, or 77 divided by 12, doesn't go into seven. I know that it's going to go in, let's see, 12 times six, six times two is 12, six times one is six plus one is seven, 77 minus 72 is five. So this would be six feet and five remaining inches left over. Your remainder is always the smaller unit. Your whole number is always the larger unit. So. Um, or excuse me, is always what's left over. So if we have six feet, five inches. Now, here's the thing. If we have six feet, if our table is six feet, five inches, then a six foot table cover isn't going to cover the whole thing. Five inches aren't going to be covered. We could have found the same thing out by just doing six feet, oops, make that look like an F, equals how many inches and when we work this out, we're going from big to little, so we would multiply. There are still 12 inches in a foot, and six times 12 is 72 inches. When I look at this is how big my table topper is, this is how big the top of my table actually is. I can see that there are five inches difference, or it's five inches short. Either way works out fine since we had information on both ends of the equation. It's time to challenge yourself. The Wright brothers built a plane with a double set of wings. You can see them in all the photos. Where one wing measures seven and three fourths feet long or seven and three quarters feet long and the other wing measures eight and a half feet long. How many inches long are both wings together? So you're gonna have to do some fancy converting and figuring things out right there. Show your work in your flip journal, have some fun figuring this out and come back tomorrow ready to check your answer. I love this picture, so I had to stick it in there for you. I hope that someday I'll get to fly like this. I think that'd be cool. Review your learning goals. Have you mastered all of them? What do you not get? If there's something you don't get, make sure you write down that question or put an arrow to pointing to what you don't understand. Write down if you're at a level one, two, or three in your learning and 
Um, incredible inches. You've completed lesson 12-1, customary units of length. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.